Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Scott Fondas, the film critic for The Village Voice. And uh, the gentleman to my left uh, needs no real introduction, the Oscar-winning director, Ang Lee. Next to him, the screenwriter of Life of Pi, David McGee. And at the end, Tim Squires, the editor of this film and all films by Ang Lee. And uh, very happy to have today an audience of both press and students from Ang's alma mater, NYU. So welcome to everyone. And uh, we're going to see some really extraordinary um, uh, sequences today, both uh, deleted scenes from the film and also some really uh, fantastic uh, uh, behind-the-scenes sort of um, uh, sequences showing how the different visual effects and other elements were layered together to create the extraordinary uh, images in this movie. Are you alone? Quiet. I'm dreaming of food. Oh, I'm so hungry. If you could have any food you wanted right now, what would it be? A banquet. When it's Blu-ray at home in 3D, you probably watch it more privately. So I guess you can feel that lonely and hopelessness. And therefore, um, you're moved when something grand or horrifying that's happened. It's, I think it's probably more to the fact that you're in awe with the situation. Uh, I think it will be a wonderful experience um, to, to have. <laughs> In a lot of uh, DVDs, you see what looked like the outtakes that were picked up off the cutting room floor that no one really wanted to begin with. What I think is wonderful about what we have in, in this version is not just some interesting scenes to, to th talk about and think about, but uh, I, have to, I have to give him credit for doing an amazing job in showing the different layers that the process went through from, from uh, very early uh, just uh, footage uh, plates from the original shoot through different stages of animation until it, you reach the stage where you're seeing a very lifelike tiger and a very believable storm. You know, the film is a real visual treat and part of that is the way that we worked on it, you know, conceived and executed the thing entirely in 3D. It's a fundamental part of the filmmaking. It's not something, you know, that's added on by some other department at the end. So it's it's really part of part of Ang's vision of the film is as a 3D film. 